The relationship between mind and brain is one of the fundamental questions of modern times. We're all human, but we differ, and our lab is interested in why we differ and how we differ. We like to understand how cognitive processes like perception, attention and memory and brain processes are connected. We're studying babies with Down syndrome in order to understand Alzheimer's dementia in adults. Because Buckney is a shared research center, uh, we have many different research groups studying different parts of the brain and looking at the effect of uh, emotional stimuli on the brain down to something like studying how pain is mapped in the brain or studying how a vision is mapped in the brain. At the Institute for the Study of Children, Families and Social Issues, um, we focus on longitudinal studies that look at um, factors affecting development from birth to early adulthood. The Alpha Lab looks at how the brain redeploys itself, so reorganizes itself to do very complicated auditory processing skills. The sorts of projects we're doing, for example, how do people make sense of the process of the transition to retirement? Another project looking at how people, uh, what's it like bringing up a child with learning disabilities? We look at two, two areas essentially. One is effective neuroscience and in this we are looking at how emotional processing takes place. The other area of research is called inattentional blindness and inattentional blindness occurs when we're busily engaged in some sort of activity um, and we don't notice an unexpected stimulus that, that appears. The Baby Lab is special in, in that we uh, p pioneer new methods for studying how babies uh, perceive the world and, and how they understand the world. We have just got um, funding for collecting DNA samples for families with children affected with autism. So we're collecting DNA from those families to look at the relationship between the risk of autism and genetic variants.